Hello everyone, Burning Ricky here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to discuss the plague that is infecting Hell Let Loose and that is cheaters using ESP and aimbot hacks to shamelessly harvest points. I made a video about this discussing aimbot and ESP before and one of the comments was and you have to excuse me, I'm doing this from the top of my head. I can't find the actual comment anymore, but it said something like, This is not footage of Hell Let Loose. These are all lies. And if this person is by any chance watching this video, then I will explain why I did not show any Hell Let Loose aimbot ESP footage. Two of my videos discussing aimbot and ESP with actual footage of Hell Let Loose got copyright striked by Hell Let Loose publisher Team 17 and Dev Studio Black Matter. So I decided not to use any more Hell Let Loose cheat footage. And just for the record, none of it was me playing Hell Let Loose with cheats. It was all promotional material from these websites that sell cheat software to show their customers how their cheats work and how good they are. But for you, sir or ma'am, whose name I don't know and whose reply I cannot find anymore, I will now show you Hell Let Loose aimbot ESP footage whilst discussing it. Now, yes, I know, I probably get a copyright strike for this video, but I don't like to be called a liar. So let's discuss. Personally, I don't see the point in cheating in any game. Games are made to challenge yourself to see if you or your group can win by using your brains, your wit and your skills and experience. Cheaters ruin a game and in the end will utterly destroy it. The honest players will simply get fed up and leave the game to find something else to play. I have seen it happen many times before, many great games I loved utterly ruined by cheaters using ESP and aimbot. It is utterly heartbreaking for a die-hard gamer like myself to see the game I love going downhill so fast. Talking about aimbot and ESP, I will explain for the people who do not know what aimbot and EXP are. Aimbot is a piece of software that allows you by pressing a button on your keyboard to automatically lock onto the enemy and instantly fire a bullet into his head. ESP is a small software program that will allow you to see things you should not be able to see. For example, enemy players, enemy tanks, enemy garrisons, enemy landmines. In essence, everything the enemy sees, you see also, which gives you an incredible huge advantage over the average player. These two hacks are mostly found in software bundles people can rent for a day, week or a month, and can also include a speed hack. This allows a player to run up to 10 times faster. Some other features that these bundles also may have are Aimbot will lock onto an enemy in view or nearest enemy, you press fire and they die instantly. A auto switch target key for when the aimbot targets the wrong enemy. Custom field of view which enables you to tweak your view angle and height. Stickman figure that can come with a line of sight and or health indicator. This depends on the brand of cheat a player is renting or maybe made himself. Speed hack makes a player run up to 10 times faster. The problem is detection. Easy anti-cheat software is not doing a very good job. If that worked, then why are you looking at footage I collected these past few weeks of cheaters in action? Is the easy anti-cheat logo just added to fool us? Give us a false sense of security? You know, like stay calm, everything is okay but the burglar is sitting on my sofa drinking my beer kind of thing. The real problem is the unreal source code. And here is a small example of what I mean. 
this is a video made by a channel called Matt Esplant and Matt is really good in making programs for Unreal Engine. If you are interested in making your own Unreal game or assets for Unreal, check out his channel. Let's watch a little bit, you will get the idea of what I mean. So this is quite a cool video actually, so I've come up with this concept now in which we can create cheat codes in our game so the player presses different amounts of button combinations and then something will happen. So for example, let me get in and hit play. If I press up, down, left, right, you see our health has gone up to the max. There's not really anything visual for that other than a print string, however it does work. And if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, we should be flying, sorry I mispressed that, so 1, 2, 3, 4, we're now flying, and as you see here, our movement mode is flying. So this is what we're going to be creating today, I've just got two different examples, however it's incredibly easy to add your own cheat codes in this, and I've got two different ones so I can show you how to add different ones in there. Now, as you just have seen, you would think this has nothing to do with Hell Let Loose. But you would be wrong. It has everything to do with any game that uses the Unreal Engine. And since Hell Let Loose runs in the Unreal Engine, you now have a better understanding why games using the Unreal Engine have so many cheaters. The easy anti-cheat software might catch the Sunday amateurs who created their own little cheats. But these big cheater websites who make thousands of dollars each week are on a whole different level. They are professionals, cheating, death making teams that do this for a full time job and probably have made more money from making cheats for Hell Let Loose than Team 17 or Black Matter Studios did selling the game. And these are the cheaters the easy anti-cheat software should ban immediately. I mean that's why it was made was it not. But why are you now looking at a cheater footage from Hell Let Loose if that actually all worked. I'm not so much worried about a 16 year old making a little cheat program in the Unreal Engine. It's the big fish. These giant websites with professional dev teams that rent out their cheats on a massive scale. That scare me. These are the ones that should be taken down. But my guess is they are hosted in some country where the justice department does not worry too much about these kinds of things. And a server can have a very active admins on it that keep a sharp lookout. But that is just one or two people trying to keep an eye on a hundred players. And not only that, without a kill feed, without knowing who actually shot me. How do I report such an unknown person? Someone just shot me five times in the head from a mile away? I mean, how does that work? The admins check the kill feed and then tries to catch this player cheating in the act? And don't get me wrong, server admins do a great job. Instead of playing the game they love, they actually spend their time hunting cheaters. They are probably also the people who actually are paying for the service. These generous, great people allow us to play our games and I don't think they get enough credit for it. But I have to say it again, is this not what the easy anti-cheat software is supposed to all do? Automatically check files on players hard drives and then ban suspicious activity? Automatically checking the hit percentage, the kill death ratio and if it's way off the normal then ban these players? I know there are discord groups of admins of different server who join up to share cheater names and steam IDs. But some of these cheaters have multiple accounts. My friends and I recently got attacked by a cheater group in a game called Scum. It is also made in the Unreal Engine and uses the easy anti-cheat software as well. All three of these cheaters had at least five accounts each. We found out afterwards by checking their Steam friends list and who they were friends with. All were linked together. They get caught on one account, buy a new $20 game key from some shady website, make a new account on Steam and happily go on cheating. 
So server admins, be aware that some players really do not care and have money to burn. It is sad, but it is true. I really don't see the fun in it. And it seems like a waste of time and money to me. Cheating is affecting the whole gaming industry. Every single popular game has cheaters in it. The good part is most have a kill feed and active admins and a lot of cheaters get caught with their pants down. Either by accident or because they are too obvious. And some really famous streamers and people have been caught cheating in the past. The other bright light in this whole mess is the fact that a lot of these websites that rent out cheats are run by very shady people, probably hosted in some very shady countries. Think about it, you are giving money to a person or people in some shady faraway country, a person or people you know that have no problem with breaking the law. Then you download a piece of software from these very shady people, installing it on your computer and hope it all works as promised and paid for. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll give that a pass. It all sounds so stupid, but this is exactly what a lot of people are actually doing. A lot of cheating software comes with hidden Bitcoin miners keylockers that try to steal passwords you type into your computer or even worse ransomware that encrypts all your files and asks you to pay an amount in bitcoins to unlock it else all the data on your hard drives will get destroyed i don't think most cheaters even realize what kind of shady people they are doing business with and then trust these shady cheat makers enough to send them money and be even foolish enough to download and install some shady software. It all sounds like a very bad idea to start with. Well, that was all for me guys. I hope you found this video interesting or informative. And if you did, please support the channel by giving it a like. Also, subscribe if you have not done so already. I try to make at least one video a week. My name is Burning Wiki and I will see you next time.